Our top story, Mo Money Taxes still has no money for many of its customers. Crowds gathered yesterday at the company's Norfolk locations demanding their refund checks. Some say they're waiting on thousands of dollars. Ten on your sides, Ann McNamara has been following this story all week. She joins us live now with an update. And Ann, are these people going to get their checks anytime soon? Katie, the owner of the Granby Street franchise told me yesterday on live television the checks will be here Monday, at least some of them. Meanwhile, other customers have taken matters into their own hands. They say they got the number of Mo Money Taxes CEO Marquis Granberry from some of the Norfolk franchise owners, so they texted him. Tonight, they've given 10 on your side permission to share those messages and to share his responses. Where's my check? That's the question all of these people want answered. The IRS is basically verifying to us that their, our money is here in their bank account. Friday, crowds gathered at Mo Money Taxes in Norfolk. On Granby Street, owner Mario Brady told us he printed 50 checks and 30 did not clear. The banks have refused to cash their checks saying that there is fake. I mean, that is unacceptable. At the Brambleton Ave location, angry taxpayers broke windows. Some customers even contacted the CEO of the company, Marquis Granberry. They shared text messages he exchanged with them. To verify it was his number, 10 on your side called. Hello, you reached the voicemail of Marquis Granberry. I'm sorry I wasn't able to accept your call. One customer texted, this is urgent. It may not mean anything to you, but this is mine and my son's life. And I have my five-month-old nephew and nowhere to go. She says Granberry wrote back, you can either raise hell or pray. He told one customer, your check is not in the batches. I have the processor doing special research on you today. But when the customer called him, she says Granberry did not know her name. In one text, he gave this explanation. I don't have your money, sweetie. A bank in Texas has both of our money, and the processor in L.A. has to send a file to India. We are not small by a long shot. When the file is correct, it happens in seconds, but the processor has to manually fix the codes in the software to make it work. None of, none of what they're saying is going to add up. It doesn't make any sense. And because text message seems to be the best way to reach Granberry, I texted him myself, asking for an interview, still waiting for his response. I called because they need to be exploited. <laughs> Plain and simple as that. One customer showed me a text Granberry sent that says, quote, Call your lawyer and channel 10. I bet they can't help you like I can. Granberry texted the same customer, quote, I'll be in Norfolk next week. We will stay on top of this story and we'll bring you any updates on wavy.com. For now, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.